Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and I want to welcome you to the first edition of the Busy Islamic Talent Show, an Islamic entertainment program where they are so for bring to you Islamic artists, to Islamic celebrities so that you will get to know them better and better. This program there so for help you for make you know who that nada munchid where they behind that song or who that nada particular artist where they behind that spoken word. In the very first edition, I the feature somebody way of course, I know, you know, almost everybody in salon know when it comes to the Islamic Nasheed. Uda na this person, and they also with my brother Abdullah Ben Kama. Asalaamu Alaikum and welcome to the Busy Islamic Talent Show. Wa Alaikum Asalaam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh and thank you very much for having me. Alhamdulillah, Brother Ben, we're there today for can talk about who is Abdullah Ben Kama. But we want to really look at the uh, Nasheed life and all. So, but first, just tell me about yourself, Udad na Abdullah ben Kama. Well, um, Abdullah ben Kama is a reserved person, he's a Muslim of course. And um, I've done the into Nasheed since 2007. I've done participate in over 50 songs, featuring in albums then. Okay. And um, I got a family, I don't married. Two term, I got uh, two wives, I got uh, three kids. Okay. Um, then I also don't complete my BSc, the push on with my masters. Basically, I'm also the current army for selling and she brothers as of now. And uh, don't involve in a lot of projects then. And um, I currently stay at Mokel. So in brief, this is just who I am. All right, that's now Abdullah Ben Kamara. What is your name? Like, you know, or how people normally call you? Just Ben. <laughs> ben, okay. <laughs> so tell me, tell about, tell about you, your childhood growing up. How, how was it like? You know, some of the memories. Would that not be a blind Ben Kama from that small boy till he becomes somebody? So. Well, I was, I was always cheerful. I was there around family because uh, most of my time I spent with my grand, with my grandma okay. growing up. Because um, I grew up in a family where my parents are always there out, I see they do business or they do travel. Okay. So most of my upbringing was done by my grandmother. And then with that, I went to boys' schools, St. Edward's Primary, Prince of Wales. And uh, I was always cheerful, you know, I always get cousins the way they around me, support me, auntie them, you know, always like that. And I'm the eldest son, so. I also also learn responsibility at, at an early age, looking out for my younger siblings. Then, so in brief, that's just that. And I used to also like football going uh -huh. up. Because I, I want to actually that be favorite game. I used to like football okay. going up. I okay. used to we left team like uh, Argentina, okay. Maradona, those those time. You know. Okay. I used to love football and uh, I like singing. Okay. You know, from an early age, I went to Bethel Temple nursery, so the so. so teaching for sing. Okay. I used to like singing. Then growing up, coming to Prince of Wales, um, I like competition, I, I, um, especially trying to compete in a class or okay. be out there because I was not a, somebody that was outspoken. I was big and be quiet. Because the only way I can show myself is when I write. I love to write and just show it out there. All right, that's cool. I uh, mentioned something very important. Sina. You, most times they will take granny. You know, so most times people will say, somebody they grow it in granny, it can boil. And you attend boys school them as well. So it's not been the secret. How strict were your granny or your parents them when you are growing up? Well, um, to be honest, I was allowed to explore. I was okay. allowed to feel free and feel at home. Like you say, granny, now you get too much limitation. Yeah. You always get small, small food around mm -hmm. and you granny will always be that kind of person where it will report you to the parent and yet they protect you they back back. At, at the same time. So okay. It always gives you that kind of leverage. So, you know, as you granny day, you are, you are fine. But going to a boys' school, it tells me to get that thick skin to provoking. Mm. Provocation is a key for me. I had to stand it. Mm. I had to go through it. I had to absorb it and help me to get that kind of thick skin. For me. All right. About your night passion growing up, you don't mention three key things. Then. Say, I mean, growing up, you know, somebody will be like um, football, you know, somebody will be like um, singing as well, <coughs> and also, you know, somebody, will, I mean, leg for rights. Um, mm. Waiting. 
I've been the trigger we start up a Nasheed career. People know you as an Islamic singer for over a decade now in the country. What have been that trigger we make you kick say, I mean, last start Nasheed? Well, before I start Nasheed, as I said, I always love singing, listening to R&B songs. Okay. I used to write them because by then, when we, we were going to school, I used to sell paper then at Eastern Police. <laughs> With me, I was not buying. I was a writer for myself, so what then didn't know equal help, I was a writer. <laughs> At least you sing and, and just go back. You know, I used, to, so I used to get one book where I get mm -hmm. my music world that I write over 50 songs. Okay. Osha, Kelly, Joe, okay. this guy, this kind of things. All right. So I was there, but um, I'll also be, be in the land, Quran, you know, we went and try to ensure that you also go land every day, okay. every morning. You know, so you always get that kind of connection with Dean. And um, so, waiting to get me to Nasheed is actually, of course, is the voice of Islam. Okay. Islam so many, many times. So, like, you love the deen, mm -hmm. you know, this is not right. And then, how can you replace, how can you change this? Then, this option can, like, you get exposed, not like an option can. It has always been there. Okay. But you get exposed to this knowledge that, ah, oh, you can listen to Islamic song, which is way better than Dunya song. Then, Listening to it, I know it impacts me. Then I want to transfer this impactful uh, message to uh, to generation out there. That's okay. when I started to, to write my first song. I so tell me about your first song. song. Uh -huh. The first song that I, I wrote uh -huh. was um, We thank you, Allah, for this day. Okay. And, and to you alone we pray. Okay. Guide us in the straight way. And not of those who go astray. Okay. We Allah, we thank you for all we've been through. La ilaha. So I, I actually composed that song mm. until me and you work together at the entire for composer and entire for convert them to something used as a welcome song or one of So so we didn't think that have been time like putting down your first thoughts together, yeah. writing about I mean, you, you don't use for the right it was, there, it was, R. Kelly yeah, it, was, yeah. it was not easy because yeah. the style, the methodology, the mm -hmm. kind of what you use, the, the, the nature, like the, the, the rhythm, all the things is different. Okay. Because, you know, some, for example, rap song is fast, R&B, get your own style. Now, you have to listen to a lot of Nasheed for they get the rhythm and see how this gets in your style. So okay. it was not easy. You have to write one or two songs where you know even like but wait you cannot even complete them. Okay. You know, after that series of trial trial error trial error before you get to which if you say this is soothing for the air. Alright. You know, in every single artist or munchid uh, or, or spoken word, there is always that inspiration. Mm -hmm. I, I, I remember one musician be they will say in a week in the inside bathroom, mm -hmm. now in the inspiration the company for compose. What's your inspiration? What's in a, what did they inspire you for right, uh, uh, Nasheed? Honestly, inspiration for me it changes. Okay. What inspired me before, nothing inspired me now. Okay. Inspired me now, nothing inspired me before. Okay. Before now, what used to inspire me is mm -hmm. listening to other Nasheeds. Okay. Listening to other Nasheeds, they will get to tune, get something similar around the topic. If okay. You are, or you want to develop your own. That's one. For now, what inspired me is looking at children's life, looking at. Other people's story just okay. inspire you. How they are amazing, how, how difficult other people are going through, the difficulties of life. These are something that inspire me. Before now, what also be inspire me, like working, going through a difficult tax. Maybe, okay. maybe if I the book, for example, is tedious, I don't want to do it. I go to it, I feel inspired, I get a tune. You know, sometimes working a long distance. Okay. You know, since I saw the things there. But as of now, like I said, it's just watching my kids. You feel inspired by right. what they know. So take me take me through this creative process. Like uh, I don't get inspiration now. Okay. Take me through the process. How so, how what did it take for put all of these things together? Honestly, um, before now, mm -hmm. when we were not too exposed to a lot of phone and um, um, storage, okay. because phone be there was like the storage, you know, yes. this memory card and this this, this mm -hmm. and all that. Wait till how we be the, how me be the goat about them. Okay. I used to repeat this tune again and again in my mind. Start to sing and feel comfortable so that any day I can come up with them, I can rehearse them, I can I can go back and read. so after that I put word them to them. Okay. It cannot be complete at a go. Certain times you can be inspired and get a whole full song one go, but at times 
um, you get stuck. Maybe just a course, just okay. these two, three lines, <laughs> yeah. and then you learn again and again and again and again. You know how to move forward. Okay. But with uh, increase in technology, technological space now, once you get the tune, just put an iPhone. Maybe you can need an iPhone for months or even a year, mm. you know, until when you're ready for go back to a new pick up and try for co um, complete the song. Okay, all right. Um, in uh, when it comes to maybe most of things, people have mentors and get people and they maybe look up to as a munshi. Who is your mentor? I think for me, the most inspiring person in the has always been Zembika. Okay. It has always been Zembika. It's family life, mm -hmm. how it treats Nasheed, okay. his exposure to it, like the calmness in which he's singing songs, the way he writes them, all, all about it. I just, I don't know if because my get that kind of exposure to Nasheed starts with him, song them, but I just get glued to Zembika. It, it, it never gets old for me. Okay. All right. So let's say you've composed, I mean, lots of songs, hundreds if not. Uh, you're not going to remember the all, but I'm sure there is always that song we get a special place that you had. Looking at plenty, plenty, plenty in a sheet that we don't compose, which one you really see as your best in a sheet will stand out and why? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the reason why I said wow is because. Yeah. Waiting and like my own bit, waiting is stand out. Definitely. Now, I mean to you, okay. as somebody we don't compose and, and she say I really love this. It might not even be the most yes. popular yeah. Nasheed out there yeah. from other people. It's a song I composed with Saifuddin. Okay. I'm starting to still get the verse. He actually sent one or two verse for me. They asked me to do a third verse. Okay, uh, okay now I remember. Okay. I don't remember the song name, but okay. I remember the verse. Okay. That's always. I always refer back to that verse, those verses. I always go back to yes. Can you imagine how life could have been without this line to guide you and me? A perfect guide for all of mankind. Okay. In a total peace we just the words. Right. You just do right. your own verse. Right. Ask me for the, this is what I come from. Okay. Can you imagine your life could have been without Islam for guiding me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a yeah. perfect guide for all of mankind. Wow. In total peace we can find. Wow. Imagine all of this insecurity, life trials, or if there was no Islam, where could we have been? All right. So this is Okay, at this point, uh, Fumble, you watch the program Busy Islamic Talent Show, and this is the very first edition in Adea with one of the Finest Munshid, Ablai Ben Kama, he has been singing since 2007. So it's close to or over 15 years now. Alhamdulillah, don't they in the Nasheed game? Don't mind, born, in fact, two women, them, three picking them. Alhamdulillah, they are with me and they tell me about a Nasheed life and how it look like. Ben, maybe, uh, maybe listeners or viewers could just want for, let me start with a gist of a Nasheed and a verse, you know, and you can choose any of the Nasheed them way. You don't do and just an Ashid and just a verse on the course. As she walks with her gaze right down, she saw so unique in a long full gown. She feels secure as she moves around. She can pass by you without any sound. She walks in a way so cool and calm. She doesn't rush so not to look like a clown. I walk sure that she is part of a dean. You can tell for sure that she is a Muslim. She is a Muslim. You see her from afar. She has a job. She is a Muslim from the way she walks. Works. She's cool and calm. She is a Muslim from the way she talks. Is with Salam. She is a Muslim. That's what she is, and we're proud of her. All right, that's the song. She's a Muslim. This is one of the most popular, popular Nasheed in Sierra Leone and beyond. I remember in Liberia, the guy we wear this Nasheed impact and all. Tell me about this. Tell me about this Nasheed. Give a story small about this okay, Nasheed. Okay, the story about this Nasheed, um, you know, it starts, we, we compose this Nasheed in, in India. <laughs> yeah. We've been there to Ajambalu and in Veranda, we try to do a song for a flop with album. We were working on an album by then. Yeah. Then, Abraham Manjalo, my brother, I got this inspiration of this tune. Then 
He do something and we'll get to talk. Say, let's work on it together. It was difficult. Spend hours sitting down in that veranda. Look at waiting to happen. How can we relate? How can we promote the job, you know, and, and, and everything. So that's where we actually composed the song. I remember the last verse was up and down. Words, <laughs> yes. talking, getting words and trying to make sense. Okay. To see how you match up with what one and two don't talk about. So that's it. But it's, it's, uh, it's an amazing song and it's, yes. And that song has inspired so many sisters out there from Sierra Leone and beyond. Okay. So many, and it's, it was timely by then. Mm -hmm. A job was fairly new. People okay. need that reassurance mm -hmm. and all that. So these are some of the songs them, or the kind of work they would all do for grade one, we farm sister in, in commitment to the dean. Oh. Uh, and um, Alhamdulillah, I'm not proud, but I feel fortunate to be part of that. This is cool, but Alhamdulillah. Now, one would take uh, uh, a turn to the Islam Brothers journey, and which kind of impact? Islam Brothers are the first Islamic Nashid group where we um, come out because there was this Mushtashidin and Mushtashidat, we start Snafubi, yeah. but becoming will not be doing an album or not popularize and people not be know about them. But Islam Brothers being the first Nashid group where everybody in the on. Oh, Allah, forgive me. It, is, it sounds like an anthem, you know, when it comes to Sierra Leone. Tell me about Aslam Brothers' journey. You know, how, how, how has it been working as Aslam Brothers and which impact, if you, should, if you say, Nasheed don't create over the last 10 to 15 years? Well, uh, Aslam Brothers don't come from a very long way. From um, the 10 way, Nasheed was fairly you know, but Very few people were um, did aware of Nasheed, mm -hmm. and when they're aware, it's about international Nasheed. Mm -hmm. So we started from that light, and before we actually move on for composing an album, we were doing miming. I remember doing songs with Zendika, mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. going to program, okay. just performing the song, not just the idea of promoting Nasheed. For us, it's not about us by then; it's just popularizing Nasheed for the Muslims mm -hmm. by then. Okay. Before we actually move on to our own songs, then mm. and come up, coming up with that album, I never imagined that it would struck like how it did because mm. the intention was pure, coming from uh, from mm. uh, from uh, from the heart, and it was small perspective. Just do this thing, see how it goes. Okay. Come the light goes much more than we expected, and the impact it created. Okay. Oh, um, over the years, we don't day together is much more than just Nasheed, we are like, we are brothers okay. and uh, I'm happy to get to see life go with you from before we get married, start family, okay. and do, traveling, raise kids, going to school with the kids, so much like um, it just speaks to the fact that um, there is this group of people over there on the shade of Kiyamwe and the prophets say like um, one of them now the person we know only for them. This is what I will know. Like we are of a different tribe, yeah. different background, but yet because of them come together. Right. We don't live all of our life for over twenty years now. Mm -hmm. Ten or fifteen to twenty years yeah. now, just for them. And see the impact we create, the amount of work we put on together, you know, and to me, uh, um Asalam Waters now part of that youthful group we inspire the formation of so many Islamic groups, not only Nasheed, it's okay. much more than that. Okay. Because the tour that we make to so many areas, the okay. impact we created from west to central to east to out of Freetown, mm -hmm. Makeni, Kenema, even to cross country like Liberia, mm -hmm. people get inspired by our stories, people mm -hmm. inspired by our lives and form groups. Okay. And see how then self can make an impact or support them. So being part I think of it's one of the biggest group from this the Sierra Leone Shield Brothers. Yes, of course. Because um, once we form the, the, the Salam Brothers, mm -hmm. we know that similar groups get for come up. Similar, similar people of the same intention will come up. Yeah. So it was a beautiful idea initiated by my brother, Norman Jalona. We get this group, we will um, monitor, we work, we will help one another. It's not about the monitoring force, I think it yeah. was first the support. support. It was there to support each other, mm -hmm. how we will work together, mm -hmm. like a collaboration rather mm -hmm. than a competition. Yeah. That's how we formed Seria and Sheep Brothers. We don't do for over this years, over uh, 10 mm -hmm. feet to 15 years also. So, like, Salam, uh, Asalam Brothers and Slab just very close to the formation, like just months or one year. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, you see, even so, before the first album, yes, Asalam Brothers course. album, Slab, 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 Slab has been formed. Yeah. And it has always been there. It has always 
been the brother out, it's, it's always been the support, you know. And um, this only helped me throughout my career, throughout my life, throughout my family life and all that. Mm -hmm. So as Lamb Brothers, we don't create impact. So it has great impact for artists. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of groups coming, we see poetry now, we mm -hmm. see drama. The all of this. Let's say the entertainment. Yes, there is nobody who will relate to entertainment, you know, will make mention of us. Of course. Sure. So it's not out of pride, it's out of passion. I learned any goodness to you once. Never imagine that I'll be part of this something big, but alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. All right, this now, some of the, I mean, impact when she don't create or the Asalam brothers don't create, you know, over the years, as Ben says, it's not just about singing, but able to bring a lot of groups together and uh, Alhamdulillah, the impact is great. Um, um, ben, through this Nasheed or whatsoever, let's talk about the period of Hajj, we even get a whole album with the inside there. As a member of the Islam brother, there was this opportunity for go Hajj and all. Tell about this, you know, at such a young age, it was just around uh, uh, can I say 25? You know, Allah make them easy for go Hajj at that time. How was this like? And which role or uh, get anything for the Uti Nasheed career, you know? Well, honestly, that's uh, it's a baraka. And no. I thank Allah for that because by then I was I was at the last stage of my course. Mm -hmm. I'll be the final year. Mm -hmm. Then we get this amazing news from Sheikh Bundo. I remember he called. He called at the manager and said, I think the power once and one pound of a mm -hmm. It's very mm -hmm. good. Tell me, you just, like, honestly, it was so, we were so sincere in that that nobody, I didn't have to, like, no, yeah, it has to be me. The manager wanted to see, no, you know, it was clear, no matter what. If, if he had you gone, anybody, you could tell it to the other person. Yes, it was okay, like, we feel so okay, at least one will go this year, the other year, the next year, wait, so, then later I called, say, no, now not to one, now, now two, now, I said, no, no, it comes in a time when, like I was writing my dissertation, it distorted me plan, everything was like, wow, no. it's a huge opportunity. <laughs> so it's it's amazing feeling. Yeah. I had to drop out my dissertations, uh, do my own parties. It was a group dissertation by okay. then. And I start starting the preparation for Lily Go. It's an amazing journey and pray that everybody will get this kind uh, of experience. Yeah. But the experience was unique mm -hmm. at an early age. I think um, I was not married. I was 25 by then. And the manager was just married. My wife was pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. We left. Yeah. And then um, for me, it was I think it was my first journey out of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. My first journey out of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you know the exposure. Like my brother and I, in, in me, in me done the travel. Mm -hmm. You understand um, the, the the process around traveling all around. It. So for me, it was a very good experience throughout okay. and the kind of impact we, it, it created in our life and see places, see people and how we were able to support some old age people during the, the, the process. Okay. I think the light was good and how it impacted our career is that it inspired me for do more, that whatever good you're doing, Allah they watch and Allah will send in servant and to support now. It's, sure. It was very good because we didn't do all of this because we wanted the benefit of Allah. Mm -hmm. That was not it. Even mm -hmm. I can't remember making something like for say this is what I get from my sheet. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember like like I'm working at the moment, end of the morning, give me two million, three million, four million. Yeah. I can't remember saying, oh, this is not the most first two, one, two million <laughs> from think. this Nashik. <laughs> like so this this is just the, the benefit. I like give me this 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 goodness and I have like it was good, it was inspiring. Yeah. And uh, we, we 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 pray that Allah will accept them for we mm. and give the inspiration to people who are going to I mean, I mean, I mean. So tell us about the journey for Allah album. Well, I wish I, I can say more because it's been a while. Yeah. The, the, the journey for Allah album was indeed a journey for Allah. Yeah. Because once we, we get confirmation that we're going on a trip, they will start working on it. <laughs> okay. so it, was, it, was, it was hard work. Yeah. We went to the studio day and night. Yeah. Um, putting up activity for traveling, mm -hmm. prepared for traveling, working in, in the studio, mm -hmm. trying to see how best we can do some songs then so that we will go hard. We'll go do the video, video clip. It was not easy, <laughs> yeah. seriously. There's a lot of work to it. Mm -hmm. Get one or two people out there for support the, mm -hmm. the album. Mm -hmm. And throughout the journey also, we were taking videos involving one or two people so yeah. that we can get yeah. something. For to work on the album. Yeah. Yeah, all right, uh, Brother Ben. Um, in doing all of this, you must get some some stumbling block, some challenge. What has been 
the greatest challenge or some of the challenges we in the face doing a nation personal I, or i think mm -hmm. um, like how they can always say we challenge very different yeah. as time changes okay before now we challenge us to be nice we're not getting money yeah. <laughs> for record so we we'll won't get the money for the video clip for the video, <laughs> we have to struggle for the costume uh, we have to struggle for location transportation so many things around money okay but now it's not about the money that much, alhamdulillah. Now it's about the time. Okay. Now the biggest thing, you don't have the time. Because you get for get this money, you get for this money, you get family, you get picking, you get work, you get all that engagement, now you don't get the time. Mm -hmm. So the time for actually compose for me is difficult. The time for actually showcase your arts is actually becoming limited day and day in and day out. So mm -hmm. that has been the biggest challenge for me now. Okay. Um, of course, in all of, over a decade now, you must don't meet with fans, not so. Um, and I would say fans they don't they give comment. Uh, they must don't they give comment. Let's let's talk about one or two of these comments you've ever received from fans, whether they are great, whether from the office, in the streets, whatsoever. Let's talk about some sometimes you meet these people, what do they say to you? Well, honestly, um, much more, 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 um, so much people that I interact with, uh -huh. at the start, they don't get to know that I'm part of the <laughs> so It's very good for me. It's always good for me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I'm not going to say that. Me, past, like, possibly, actually, no, me, you should know. Because kind of, maybe I don't put all the way small, then we kind of don't look different small, we face different small. So, like, you always know there's a black one. Yeah. There's a, but, <laughs> But so okay. people get to deal with me first before okay. they get to know me better and then like, oh no, I'm part of the okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's that surprise of me is always a interesting thing. You okay. know? And um, even the woman around my they not get to know until okay. after I don't get to know me, then you say, Wow, you're part of the Yeah, that's it. So but the comment has been good and one of the major comments of late now, ah, you know they sing now, why why need they be singing? <laughs> I said, Well they sing. <laughs> I was just like we are not seeing, I'm just seeing a blah man, a blah man. Yes. Yeah. Don't worry, I will soon, I will soon sing. Yeah. But inshallah, I'm, 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 I will soon get a lot of stuff out there. Inshallah. Um, we are still in the Nasheed world. You're still a young man and still time gets for go. Looking in the next five years, in 2023, how you see yourself in terms of Nasheed? Let's say projecting yourself five years, you go down, resign, you go down, retire. Or you plan for this? Well, great. honestly, in the next five years, I see myself going to do national the international stage. But he has to do a lot of kids, mm -hmm. prepare the young, younger generation, and pro um, provide that kind of adv um, advisory role. Mm -hmm. But of course, I'm going to be involved with the, with the, in the arts, get the song. But actually, it's no rush. At my own time, in my own case, mm -hmm. when I want. But I'm going to. You're going to see a lot of uh, my international performances and out there, and sell out the local, our local nasheed out there. Like we will compete with the likes of the international nasheed with other people in the world. So that's how I see myself in the next five years. That's good. Um, uh, this is excellent. You can get free time. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so as, as 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 a person, waiting can normally do them free time. Well, as I know, my free time is. Um, Spending some time with my kids, get to know mm -hmm. kids. But it's an, it's an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. What they know now and what we know today, we are picking up two, two different things. I remember when I was small, mm -hmm. me and my small brother used to fight around, stop again, make stop. <laughs> yeah. Like two days ago, my kids were fighting again around password. <laughs> they were two getting tab. But the year is the. Password complexity, that's what they were fighting about. Wow. Cyber security and wow. password. Wow. Like, they meet me and say, Daddy, I need to have password. Create some <laughs> password and I'm, I'm attack. Why? They say, This they don't in charge. <laughs> so, when in charge, don't, when you go, they go take me. On. <laughs> so, so man. I, I just give them pin. Uh -huh. But funnily, they share the pin to themselves. <laughs> back. So, now I need complex password, long password. So, you got to see all this and see wow, subhanallah, Interesting. Our lives are changing. As human being, well. the world is changing. Yeah. So get to see all this and how we can still create an Islamic environment where we're picking them. Yeah. It's something that is challenging for every Muslim yeah. and it's something we should take very serious. And another thing that is very serious that I spend my time around is learning. Learning okay. 
studying, looking at IT, looking at family lives and how it's impacting us. We see a lot of diversity, a lot of people rushing to marriage, yeah. so many things now. So all of this they impact to me. So in the free time, spend time with with me picking and try for creating, build that foundation so that when I grow up, inshallah, I will be a uh, better Muslim that I am. All right. I am. Inshallah. Well, Fambul Disna, brother Abdullah Ben Kama of the Asalam brothers, currently the Amir of the Sierra Leone Nasheed Brothers and we there today where we'll be the talk about in personal life, Nasheed life. I'm not sure why let this interview go more than this, but every good thing will come to an end. So uh, Ben, there are lots of young people out there and you are not somebody we don't grow, Alhamdulillah, in the best way for a possible even day in this age of the prayer, five daily prayer with Alhamdulillah, with all of the things going around. But there are still a lot of young people out there we not really think of a purpose yet. I think it will be a message as we end this interview for today. We might get another time for come and talk more, but for today as we end this interview, I think it will be your message to, I want for dedicating to young people out there. I think um, my my message to my siblings, to the younger people, yeah. I think first of all, try to learn more. Study is a key. Learn more, learn whatever thing you do. Is it football? Learn more. Is it technology? Do more. Try to be perfect in your art and also put tawakul. Don't rush into the money. Yeah, honestly, it's not about the money and the fame. For life, it will, it will come. They'll tell me you know, yeah. Today, I, I see a lot of young people, especially the ones that are practicing Ding. Yeah. Everybody want to form a group, everybody want to live in Sabia, everybody want to get the exposure, everybody want to all that. Forget about that. Concentrate in serving Allah, pleasing Allah. Try to perfect your art. Try for, 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 for perfect what you're doing. And also, try to get that kind of connection with Allah, get works the way sincerely they do. I think one of the things we help we over the years has to be that we go in the effort of Dawah, where we can be ourselves. Nobody care about you, just focus on Deen, okay. sincere Dawah, everything, do it for Allah. Then I think that can make things happen for you. More like the train at which thing they go, we see the lot of impact with younger sister than the, the way we, we, we TikTok longer in the life of we, we younger sister. Then. Everybody they dance, everybody want because of likes, everybody want to get in video views. because of likes, for views, comment. for comments, ah, you hot, you good, you look good, this, that. And everybody want to share in, out, in life, just out there, everything. I eat today, chicken, everybody for no, I go today, now, hello, how is it? Hello, how is it? Yeah. You know, <laughs> every go to dinner, hello, how everybody for no, and all that. To expose too much of myself you know, before we even go, that's affecting us. Yeah. A very solid message from a brother of like Ben. One, let's keep on doing what you are doing and learn more in what you do. You definitely not gonna be best at what you do if you not continue for learn. I guess as salam brothers, if we been just start all of this and not, not put much attention in it, then there will have not been growth as uh, it happened over the years. And also that whatever you do, you know, kind of rider, you na student, you na any kind of profession today fight for make you sabia more and another big advice and greatest one it's not just about the likes about the comment about the views check how many people live with don't die today all of those comments and views not get any benefits to them well fumble this is not the message from my brother of life and kamar me will be bringing this program come to you we're not a busy inspirational talent show like brother haji abdurrahman and inshallah next week same time just come online and you will get another edition of this till we meet as well as say ma salam not forget if you get any comment on um, improving the program you will send a message to the numbers on the screen and if you self an islamic artist out there who wants for the future in this program inshallah just send a message to this number where they show that screen and inshallah we will get the time for talk to you so that the people out there go meet you i hope you don't meet of live ben and i saw go on for say ma salam but as i go as i left now ben get for left now with a song we i don't know now song but just let me end the program with this particular song <laughs> i think um there's a song that i don't compose for over two years over sorry over three years mm -hmm. but i don't get the time for doing it um, I call it Daddy's Girl. It's dedicated to all the girl picking them. We get that kind of special bond with their, with their father. I call the song Daddy's Girl. <laughs> Deep down in my heart, right from the start, you my amazing cutie can't explain all the joy, the feeling of love you've brought to my heart, my honey. Hold on you in my eyes, staring those eyes. 
That's not my plant. Daddy loves you, Boku Boku. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All those years waiting for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank Allah for bringing you in my life. I pen for that I'm very grateful, my Rab. Daddy loves you, Boku Boku. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All those years waiting for you. For that I'm very grateful, my Rab. You are my superstar, amazing you are. A big barakah from Allah. You bring love back into my life. Many thanks to my wife for all of the pain and these strides. Watching you as you grow, helping you to know all that needs to know. I'm blessed of being a father to you, my daughter, cause it's in a manner. Thank you very much. When I was born, the first words that I had, had heard were the words of Allah being whispered through my ear. And as I felt Allah's power in my soul, the day Islam took me in its fall. I am a Muslim, Islam my deen Allah my Lord, His words Quran Muhammad Prophet, praise be upon Him I'm a Muslim for all of time As I grew up, walking in this great big world I gaze in all of the wonders of Allah And as I learn the cruel lessons of life Islam shine as my guiding light I am a Muslim, Islam my deen Allah my Lord, is what's Quran Muhammad prophet, praise be upon I'm a Muslim for all of time Look at me now Family around my death But I know not when Allah will call me home The life I led The word of blessed thing As death comes to me This words I will sing I am a Muslim I'm a Muslim 